Hello to all of the Sagittarius is out there. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I am going to be doing your reading for the week of March 22nd through the 28th. This reading will not resonate with every Sagittarius sun sign out there. However, it may resonate with your moon Venus arising. So if you have Sagittarius and your moon Venus arising, this reading may resonate with your situation. The cards are falling out and I haven't even begun to, sh begun to shuffle. But I hope everyone is following instructions to stay in and um, to be safe. It's better to be safe than sorry. If you don't have to go out, don't. What is the pace energy for the sign of Sagittarius? Queen of Swords came out. What's the pace energy for the sign of Sagittarius? Spirit, what is the pace energy? Okay. Six of Pentacles. Is energy for the sign of Sagittarius. Mm. Too many cards. Okay. The magician. For the future energy, we have the Two of Swords. <coughs> Ten of Cups, Seven of Swords, Judgment, Temperance. The High Priestess in Reverse. Okay. And we have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And I'm going to be using these to clarify. Get a couple of shuffles in. Okay. So. Sagittarius. Your past energy was the Queen of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Magician card. So, you could have <clears throat> possibly cut someone out of your life, cut them off, could have cut someone off because... There wasn't any harmony in your situation. Um, they were taking, they were <clears throat> causing you some type of stress. So you could have cut someone off with this queen of swords because there was you didn't get the harmony that you needed and it caused you to go into manifestation so now you can have a decision to make there are two paths that you can choose from 
because you want the Ten of Cups. You want love. You want fulfillment. And with the Seven of Swords, you don't know at this time, you don't know how it's going to go. You don't know how it's going to turn out with the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> because it could be the situation is not going as um it's not going as how you planned it to go. So with the judgment card um which represents Scorpio, so you could um be dealing with a Scorpio, but you could have <clears throat> In the future, you could have renewal in a situation. Um, this could be a karmic, karmic situation. But a judgment call is being made in the future. And it's going to result in balance and harmony. And you're not going with the high priestess. You're um, the high priestess in reverse. I'm sorry. There aren't going to be any secrets. And you're not going to be left out in the dark anymore, Sagittarius. So let's clarify the situation. Spirit, why is that queen... Of sorts there for the sign of Sagittarius. Why is that Queen of Swords there for the sign of Sagittarius? Okay. We have the king of pentacles so we have a king and a queen here so this is a relationship um we have the fool we have the three of swords and we have another magician Here's the present energy. Or well, why is that ten of cups there? I'm sorry. For the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you are manifesting. Got two magician cards. Okay. We have the seven of wands. And why is that seven of swords there? Give me one second. The cards flipped over. Like half the deck. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups. The Will of Fortune. The Five of Swords. The Queen of Wands. Okay. And we have the Four of Cups and at the bottom of the deck. So, you cut someone off because um, you wanted stability with this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles means that successful person that works hard. So you could have cut this person off because they the they could have been juggling with this food card. He's juggling multiple things. So you could have cut them off because they had multiple things to um to do or multiple people they were dealing with and it caused your situation 
to lack harmony. And then with following up with the Three of Swords, there could have been more than one person involved. And you were manifesting a new beginning in this situation because you got the Magician here and you're still manifesting because you got the Magician in your um, present energy because you or someone still has a, have a decision to make. You have to choose which path you want to take. Um, because you want the Ten of Cups. But with the Seven of Wands, you could feel like you have to defend yourself against this person or um... You could just feel like maybe you have multiple op um, obstacles in the way. And then with the Eight of Cups, you're walking away from the situation. Like, you're not even looking at those cups anymore. And you're moving forward with the Well of Fortune. So you could be moving forward. And that is why this Judgment card is here. The judgment came in and you decided to move on. Now, you could be moving on to a new situation or trying to move forward in this love situation. But I think you're moving on to a new situation because you were looking for, um, with the temperance card, you were looking for balance and peace. But someone is still being deceitful with this five of um, swords. Someone is still being deceitful. So, you're no longer using your intuition in this situation. Um, you're no longer going with the flow with the high priestess in reverse. You're taking action and moving forward. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the four of cups. You're not even paying attention to the cup that's being offered to you. And then you have the justice card on the, the bottom of that card. I mean, underneath the four of cups. So I'm going to say that you're moving forward because someone, you or someone didn't make a decision. And it resulted, and you could have been in this situation for a long time because that's what Spirit is telling me, that it was stable at one time, but someone was juggling. Cause, and I say stable because I see the pinnacles there, but someone had multiple people or multiple things that they had to pick from. So you decided to move on in your life, Sagittarius. So I'm going to pull your love oracle cards at this time. Thank you. We have the golden mirror that came out. Self-absorbed, a narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. That's to confirm someone could have been, been a narcissist. It could have been a love, a one-sided relationship. But whatever was going on, you decided to move forward, spirit. I need one, one um, love oracle card for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay. The Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform in your life. So you're moving forward. You're moving forward. Because... Someone was being deceitful. And then we have coffin that fell out. It says endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. And then it came out with clock. Need time, takes time, and time, end time, cycles, time to heal, and progress. So you need to take time. To heal in a situation after moving on and 
you made a decision that was best for you. This 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 is this decision was best for you. <clears throat> yep. Tried to manifest a new beginning with this person. They were still being deceitful. So you took action with the Queen of Wands and you moved forward. Now you're looking at the three cups in front of you and the person that was trying to give you this cup, this empty cup, you're not paying them any mind anymore. So Sagittarius, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if this reading resonated with you or with your situation, hit the subscribe and notify, um, hit subscribe and notification bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Um, I hope you're staying in, being safe again. I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of healing energy out to you guys. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.